There's so much to do in the garden in the fall, but you know, Mother Nature can quickly put an end to our garden with freezing temperatures because it freezes the ground. And what do you do with all the plants that you're busily dividing and trying to get into the ground? Maybe the beds aren't ready for them. Maybe you have too many of them. Maybe you've bought new plants that need to go into the ground. Or maybe you've done a little impulse buying and you have no idea where those plants are going to go. I do a couple of things. First of all, I don't throw much away. I try to save everything. You notice behind me there's summer flocks and, and this is also the holding bed for all the sick plants like my little rhododendron and there are a number of little plants, trees that come up and I save them to be able to share with others. And all I do in the fall, if I don't get them planted in the beds where they need to go, I heal them into the vegetable garden and I simply dig a hole. Here's a little Coreopsis that I'm just going to throw into a little hole that I dug. Doesn't have to be very deep, just as deep as the root system and I'm going to bury that. You can, with a container plant, you can do one of two things. You could either take it out of the container like so and plant it. Don't disturb the roots. It's much easier to dig in the spring. Or you can plant the entire container. And I've already dug a little hole here and you set it down in here like so. And I mean you literally bury the container. You just go like this. Okay? And it's nice if the rains come, if the rains don't come, make sure you water these in for the winter. And just like that, those are all ready for next spring. You can lift them, plant them where you want them to be, go, but don't throw them out and don't leave them exposed over the winter. Dig, dig them in. I'm Phyllis Stevens and that's our great garden tip.